friends today we will start chapter 17 area and perimeter of plane figures first of all we are going for triangle this is the height of the triangle this is the base of the triangle therefore area of triangle is equal to half into base into height perimeter of triangle equal to side plus side plus side now you have to go for types of triangle types of triangle the first type is right angled triangle right angle triangle i am here drawing a figure this is the height of the triangle this is the base of the triangle right angle triangle area is given by half into product of sides containing the right angle so these are the two sides which contain the right angle so we can write their half into this is the side which is known as base and this is the side which is known as the height so we can write half into base into height next comes scalene triangle scalene triangle the three sides are different this side is taken as a this side is taken as b and this side is taken as c all the three sides are different so we have to use heron's formula where we need to find out the semi perimeter that is equal to or denoted by small s equal to a plus b plus c addition of the three sides of the triangle divided by 2 after you find out the semi perimeter we can now find out the area area equal to root over of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c next we are going for equilateral triangle equilateral triangle means all the three sides are same a a a all the three sides are equal therefore area equal to root over 3 by 4 a square next we have isosceles triangle where we have two sides equal and the third side is not equal isosceles triangle two sides are equal and the third side is not equal therefore area is given by b by 4 root over of 4 a square minus b square and perimeter of isosceles triangle you can use 2a plus b please refer to page number 205 of your book to get all the formula for formula you can use page 205 to refer to all the formula so that we can go to the exercise now 17a question number 1 is given find the area of the triangle whose base is 15 cm and corresponding height is 9.6 so base equal to 15 cm height equal to 9.6 cm using the formula area equal to half into base into height we can do half into 15 into 9.6 so we'll remove the point 9.6 after point 1 place decimal so we are putting down 10 so we can cut with 2 now 2 fours are 8 one 16 2 eights are 16 now this also we can cut with 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 then again we can cut with 2 2 2s are 4 2 4s are 8 now what we are getting we are getting 3 into 
3 into 24 is 3, 4 is 12, 1 in hand, 3 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, 72 centimeter square. Next we are going for question number 2, that is find the area of triangle whose sides are 13 centimeter, 14 centimeter and 15 centimeter. Now you see three different sides are given, so let us write it, um, we understood from the question that it is a scaling triangle, so first side A is 13 centimeter, second side B equal to 14 centimeter and third side C equal to 15 centimeter. For, therefore, we have to find out the semi perimeter which is denoted by S, S equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2 that is 13 plus 14 plus 15 divided by 2 is equal to 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3, 12, 2, 1 in hand, 2, 3, 4, 42 divided by 2 that is 21 centimeter. Now we are going for finding out the area, therefore area equal to formula is root over S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C that is equal to 21 into 21 minus 13, 21 minus 14, 21 minus 15, 21 into 21 minus 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 that means 8 into 21 minus 14 that is 7 into 21 minus 15 that is 6. So now if you multiply this it will become a big number so let us break it. 21 we can break as 3 into 7, 8 we can break as 2 into 2 into 2, let the 7 be like that and 6 we can break as 2 into 3. Now we will pair the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2 is there, let us write 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 3, 2 times let us write and 7 also 2 times. Now check whether you have written it correctly or not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now 2, 2 numbers will become a pair. And we will make out of 2 times 2 will write 1 time. Out of 2 times 2 will write again 1 time. Out of 2 times 3 will write 1 time. And out of 2 times 7 will write 1 time. And then we will put a bracket and give a square sign. Because we have taken... 1, 1 out of the 2. So, square and square root gets cancelled. So, answer becomes 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. That is 2, 2 is 4, 4, 3 is 12, 12, 7 is 84 centimeter square. Next, they told also find the height of the triangle corresponding to the longest side. We are going for the next part. We are going for the next part now. Area. Already we have found out 84 centimeter square and they told us corresponding to the longest side. Now among the three sides 13, 14 and 15 the longest side is 15 centimeter. So we have to take height, find the height of the triangle of the longest side. Now we have to take, use the longest side of the triangle as the base, base equal to 15 centimeter. Now we are going to find out the height. So what is the formula? Area equal to half into base into height. So in place of area, we are using 84 centimeter or square. We have already found out half into base is 15 into height. We don't know. We are finding out that. So 84 into this 2 will go that side and multiply with 84 equal to 15 into h. Now 84 into 2 and this 15 will come down equal to h. Now we can cut with what? I don't know. Tell us 3. We can cut with 3. 3 5s are 15. 3 2s are 6. 1 2 24. 3 8s are 24. Or 3 6s are 24. Tell. 3 8s are 24. So what we are getting now? We are getting h equal to 28 into 2 divided by 5. 28 into 2, 56 divided by 5, divide 56, 5 ones are 5, 6, 5 ones are 5, 1 in hand, so we have to use point 0, 5 twos are 10. So we are getting therefore height equal to 11.2 centimeter. Now you can go for homework.
I have done question number one, question number two. You can go for homework for question number three, question number four, and question number five. Homework, question number three, four, and five will be your homework. Next day I'll come for checking it. Please see that you have done this.